Hey everyone, Zermaz here from The Casuals. Today I'm going to be giving you the ultimate checklist of everything you should and must do at the end of a season in Call of Dragons in order to not forget anything and get max value and be prepared for your next season. Now this applies to anyone in any season, but me particularly, I am in season 2 plus, so some of the things will be available for everyone and some of them will be available only for those in this season. So first things is going to be the War Pet Kills. Now, many of you know about this already, but many of you also forget, including myself. I only bought them yesterday because I remembered. You can see right here, season purchase limit. If you click, it tells you how many of these you can buy in the store. This means that during one season, you are able to buy five two-star pet skills, as well as three stars, but they're not in the store yet, so this does not work. But as far as the two stars, this is something that you should uh, really do because two-star skills are very, very strong in the game. Uh, and it's currently some of the strongest because it's really hard to find anything higher, of course. But also, uh, you really get to choose what you buy and you can only do it five times. So, obviously, if you come in the filters and you go by two-star only, it will only show you two stars. There is a lot of choice here. But, of course, uh, one of the best choice will be these ones, the Forceful of the Special Talents. So, for example, Forceful Ravage, which is really good on the Night Rock. And, they, you know, this one for the new pets that have just come out. As well as, you know, Forceful Pain Bloom, things like that, Ruthless Follow-Up, Follow-Up. These are very strong abilities at level 2 stars. They are exceptionally strong. And uh, you can only buy 5 of them. So, depending if you're Archers, Mage Main, try and buy some of these if you can. Now, of course, the ones that are the most expensive are often really good. Uh, but they're not the best ones. For me, I really like things like Light's Guidance if you're trying to save and you're not rich in terms of the currency. Uh, because it gives your hero crit rate on their skills for magic damage. As opposed to something like that, which is for the war pet skill to have crit rate. Uh, so you can focus on either the war pet or the march that it accompanies. Uh, but in any case, depending on your budget, of course, buy what you can. Uh, fierce attack, follow up, counter strike. These are all things that are very important and very strong. And, you know, you can't really go wrong. If you have any doubt on what you should be getting on, for example, one of your pet, you can always come here and do strategy up here. Uh, this is something new, but it tells you the recommended skills. So it gives you a good idea. Uh, obviously, it doesn't include everything, and it's not the only source. There's other builds that will exist, but this is a good idea of what you should focus on for certain pets. Now, my next tip is going to be queue up some research, training, or building. Because, of course, at the end of a season, you have access to the dragon area, if, of course, you are in that area. But any in any case, you have access to some really good runes out here, of course. And you can see that these runes at level 5, they give 15%. Whether it's research speed, training speed, or build speed, these are very powerful and very important. So your best bet is to come into your research. And like me, you can start some of these really late game research, uh, you know, those that take 70 days. So in this case, it will be a very good idea if you can get one of these research runes at the end and queue up something very long that will finish during the next season. Also, on top of having all of these runes that are much more available and much easier to get, you also get buffs from Behemoth. For example, you get 3% research speed here, and there is one that gives 5% train speed, another 3% train speed. So you would like to queue up anything you can that is going to be long term so that you are having the max amount of advantage uh, as opposed to queuing up with 5%, 10% rooted at the beginning of the season, not having all these buffs. As for building, it's the same thing, obviously, if you have something that takes long. Buildings usually are less long, but if you can start your Hall of Order 25, your Wall 25, you know, these are things you can do when you are reaching that goal, of course. Also, lastly, you can come here and train. Now, you can use something like this, you know, these 10,000 extra troops and queue it up with a 15% rune as well as the buffs. And it will not take, you know, months. It will take maybe like five, six, seven days of training but it will allow you to, you know, have that buff 10 days into the next season so that when you do train again, well, at least you have had these troops with the maximum amount of speed saved and uh, from the behemoth and the runes. Another thing that is going to be obviously very important to do is pet catching. If you can make this uh, warn capacity to the max so that you have as many pets as you can, uh, which I'm pretty close to doing myself, but obviously because this season was so focused on healing, uh, I didn't have enough of uh, this to spend here, but in any case, this is something you try want to try and get uh, by doing Darklings, all kind of stuff, getting your prestige up. 
and then obviously catching pets now the reason this is so important is because being in the last zone you can see there's a lot of level 45 monsters and up to 45 beasts right now pets uh, so this is obviously a bit higher than what you can find in the early zones of a season so the last time of the season when you can get these really high pets and have a better chance of getting something good on them is really at the end of the season so this is really something you have to focus on as much as you can now the other thing that will be very important to do before the season end is use all your cp items now obviously i don't have any because i've done this already but any cp items you have will destroy themselves at the end of the season and again for the same reason as the pets level 45 monsters darklings pets at the end of the season are giving more reward than for example a level 41 uh, the amount is not extreme but it can be a significant amount higher of uh, some of the prestige and stuff like that depending on like the level 30 versus 45 for example and you know there is a better chance of getting a bit more of these rewards uh, at level 45 than there is at lower levels and you know these things are really good to upgrade uh, your uh, watchtower at level uh, 25 also these speed ups and these that don't expire anymore so there's so many new artifacts coming this could be good to stack up on as well as the prestige that you might need in order to finish your policies to catch more pets uh, so obviously do not hesitate spend everything you have all your cp now another thing that will be good to spend your cp on if you are interested will be the darkling forts they do give similar results uh, but they give uh, these treaties instead for the rally beacon and they also give a lot of prestige keys and stuff like that so this is one of the two things you can do obviously use your cp so that you are going to not waste it at the end of the season and get all these extra rewards but what's really important is that you make sure that there is no hero under level 30 because when a season resets since last season, they will reset at level 30. So they will stay level 30 in the next season. Which means that if you have any hero under level 30, well, this is the great time to use these books and make sure that you can get these heroes at level 30. So that next season, you don't have to farm that XP using your CP, uh, which would be wasteful. And you will need these books at the beginning of the season to level up your, you know, your main strong heroes, which is what you are going to focus on the next season. So just make sure you can level everything up you don't have to use the book if you don't have them just kill darklings with them level them up this is just something that's really easy to do at the end of the season there is nothing else to do with your cp as i said than killing darklings and doing forts so this is going to be one of the things you should be doing as level 30 is still a decent amount of xp saved for next season the same thing applies to pets uh, of course if you're pet level 60 that does not matter but as you can see for example i just caught this pet uh today and it's not the best pet in the world but if i wanted to level it up well, it would be a good time to do so in the last times of the seasons. For example, this one is level 16 and it's a pretty good pet. So I want to level this up, which means that the pet that he was using before, which I think is this one, level 58, will unequip this pet and put this pet on. And then when you're killing the Darklings for the last few weeks of the season, well, the pet is going to level up and he's going to be stronger and ready for your next season because their level does not reset, which means that if you bring it to level 50 or 60, it will be that level at the next season as well. So leveling up your pets at the end of the season is really something you should be trying to do. Me, myself, I should be putting, for example, this pet on uh, my marches that I'm currently using. And even like these level 54 and 56, I should be using them right now. Level them as much as I can. As well as at the end of the season, you are going to try to catch new pets. So if you get a new one, you will be something... <clears throat> you will be able to level them up right away. And this goes kind of again with the CP. If you do have a ton of CP saved up, you can wait a few days to make sure that if you do catch a new pet you can use a lot of cp and really level it up so just make sure to manage this stuff make sure to level your heroes and your pets using your cp that you have and if you don't have any cp left like me well just make sure to uh you know use your daily regenerating cp which is still a lot every day and just use it all as much as you can or you know you should use everything you can because it's going to go to waste otherwise uh, before the season ends and just make sure you can get your pets as high as possible to really give you an advantage in the next season now, another thing to know is that last season the new season gave us a full reset on all the talent trees because obviously they go to level 30 and then it asks you if you want to like import the current things that you were using or if you want to restart from fresh so if you've messed up anything in your talents don't respect wait for the new season it's going to give you a free respect at least it should if it was like last season but in any case just try and not use any of these respect items to reset uh, your talents because there is no point if you're going to get it for free and when they do ask you if you do want to copy what you were using last season say no that way you can redo all your talent trees manually unless you're really confident that you have all the best things that you want 
Uh, but one thing you can really do is also pre-prepare. So you can use these presets and prepare what you want. Don't have to switch them, just save them. And then that way you're ready in the next season to import that preset so you don't have to bother. But while you have the tree selected, it's easier to set a preset so that next season you don't have to uh, mess with that. Of course, merit is also something that can be very beneficial. At the end of the season, whether there's still a bit of war like there is on my server, then of course try and play in the war because you do want to fight get merits as you can buy some really useful things. Now, obviously these potions, there is no point in buying them if you're not having any war. Uh, you can buy this to finish some of the prestige that you might need. But otherwise, of course, just the speed ups, uh, the keys, the gold stars, especially, you can also use the warrants to catch more pets every day. That way you are going to be able to have more chance of a better pet. Uh, so you can I think do this twice a week by resetting. Uh, so there's quite a few things to be done with merit. So whether there is war, then just participate in it, get some merit. If there's no war, then arrange merit trading with anyone. It doesn't matter as long as your server leadership allows it. Merit trading will allow you to get a lot of merit. Just one thing, make sure that you do not overfill your hospital like crazy because next season, from my experience, the hospitals don't reset and uh, meaning that all your troops are going to be in the hospital that are not healed in the last season. And as you can see, I can heal almost 500,000 per day right now. But at the beginning of a new season, it's more like around 100 something thousand before you get the policies up. Uh, so this means that if you go into the new season with millions of troops in the hospital, well, you won't be able to use them for a while, which is obviously very bad as you are trying to level up and stuff like that. So just make sure that if you are merit trading and using your troops and stuff, that you are allowing yourself enough days to heal fully or almost fully before the new season starts. So you don't have a new season starting with a disadvantage. Now, this does not apply to people in season two plus, uh, but if you haven't finished any of this well this is the time because in previous season this resets from season one to two there is a whole new one that appear because it's a new map as well as this this map usually if you go around and click on things you can collect gems now i've done it all everybody so you won't see it but there's a lot of things like this that if you do go here and you know press the little button that appears when i do this uh you will have you know a lot of rewards here by doing all of this stuff so this is something that you know just make sure you don't forget because there is a lot of reward that come from here and all these things uh, all these ones are here the villages you know there's a lot of stuff so make sure that you are not missing any of this as it is completely free reward for absolutely no effort other than time uh, so just make sure that you don't have any of these rewards pending because if you do well you are going to waste them if you go in a new season and it changes now this goes without saying but make sure that this is finished uh the reward you know it ends in five days for me personally Obviously, I have it right now, uh, but if you do not have it finished, well, try and make sure that you do. There is the weekly and seasonal challenge that can be completed if you haven't done it for quite a lot of levels. And of course, your dailies every day. One other thing you should really make sure to finish is the Dragon Trail. As you can see, obviously, the Dragon Trail has been reworked a little bit. There's new things, and this is something that I haven't done myself. I have a few levels left here to do. Uh, but the reason why it's important is, of course, because you get a lot of these tokens for your indus and stuff like that. Uh, also where you can get you know free of these uh, legendary metals with the uh, currency uh, so this is one thing but the other thing that's really good here is that um, you are currently at the end of the season you have full marches of heroes level 60 with like up to 300,000 troops uh, at the next season you'll start with hero 30 so you will not be able to do any of these for a long time and this means that you know your uh, point per hour will be lower than other players at the beginning of a season which can hinder you in terms of you know how much reward and stuff you're getting like of course it's not amazing rewards but these do add up as well as in this if you want to make her max one day uh you know it would be good to have that and there is just you know a lot of things you can get like from keys and stuff it is valuable uh there is the argument that you could wait to finish them so that you get the xp for the next season uh which is you know it's very little amount of xp here it's really not that big of a deal uh but you know this does give xp per hour so if this is max next season you're going to get more xp from the get-go uh, so I think the trade-off is pretty good here by having it as max as possible. Do it while you can at the end of the season because that's where you're strongest while you will be very weak for a few weeks at the beginning of the next season. Now, the last thing I want to mention is going to be the scrap store here. Uh, make sure you are going to be buying your artifact keys, which you should be doing every week while they are available, um, as well as whatever else you can buy. Uh, but I'm saying this because the new season will also reset that store. So just make sure that this is uh, going to be bought out for you. Don't forget it at the end of the season. If for some reason the season restarts like on a Monday and this resets on Sunday, uh, so there is a possibility that we are going to be in the store for like only two days and then the season reset, which means the store will reset again. 
Uh, so just make sure to watch out for the store so you don't waste all of the extra resources you could be getting. So in three days, this will reset. I will buy them again. And then maybe a few days later, two or three days later, it will be the new season again. And then this store would reset again. They might not be available in the beginning of the season. They usually are not. But uh, this doesn't matter because, you know, at the end of the season, you're still going to get a few days where you can get more of them. So when you can buy them, buy them. It really is uh, amazing value. It's insane value, actually, uh, for what it costs, which is basically nothing right now. So I uh, really just don't forget these. I have saved up hundreds of these by just doing this since the beginning of the game coming out. So this is really a lot of value here for you. The same can be said about the VIP store here. Uh, this will reset in three days. Make sure to empty it of everything that you are going to be buying uh, that is very high value. And if the season resets again, well, we'll have a brand new store as the season starts. In my opinion, it might not be like that, but I'm pretty sure it is like that. Uh, in any case, just watch out for these. It's a lot of value. They reset every week and having an extra free reset with new season stuff can really give you quite a big boost as it is very high value stuff in this store. Uh, so just make sure to watch out for that. That's about it. Uh, if you think of anything else that you should be doing at the end of the season, make sure to let me know in the comments and share with others. Uh, the last thing that you should really be thinking about will be your rewards. Uh, so as your season reward comes here, uh, of course, depending on which uh, alliance you're in, which rank you are, there's going to be different rewards that you can get. Uh, so there is a lot of videos on this already, and I've made one last season. But just the general consensus, if you are wondering, of course, this is uh, seen by most players as the best thing you can buy here for most people who use Mage. And it got a little buff recently too, which makes it easier to get an extra hit. So this is one of the top things. This one, of course, for the Archer mains using Sindrian Pregar is, you know, one of the best ones for that. There are a few other ones that can be good depending on the pets you use. But these two are the, you know, the top marches in the game. Most free to play players or low spenders are going to be mages anyway. So this is really good. Now there's this one that came out with the new pet. Now the new pet is decent, but from most of the people's testing so far, it seems like this pet is still better. Uh, because the buff that the new pet gives doesn't apply to anybody but your own marches, which is a bit weird. So this requires a lot more testing before we can have a conclusion. But in any case, you will go wrong doing this. If you already got this last season, then of course you can go shop around for another one like this one or this one. But even then, uh, you know, having two pets with this is also an option if you're running two mage marches. And there's quite a few options here that can be decent, like this one can be okay. Uh, and otherwise, you know, I would go with this one for the Archer ma Marches. And if you're really into Goresh Cold, I think this new pet is going to be very, very good for them. Uh, so this could be decent as well. Now, otherwise, if you're in this category, uh, this is going to be most definitely your best bet as it is one of the best thing you can buy. Otherwise, this one is also a very decent one if you're going to do follow up with Mages, especially. Uh, but these are the, some of the only real good options in here as opposed to these are not bad, but these have way more of an effect. Uh, I would say this is my favorite. This is my second favorite in this store. Uh, so if you're wondering what to buy, this is what I'm thinking. I personally, I'm most likely going to buy a second one of these ones or this one, uh, depending on some of the testing that I'm going to do. And I might make another video about this. If uh, anybody's interested, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video.